Hello, I'm Adam Perry, Occupational Therapist and Director of the OT Service. I just want to very quickly demonstrate some of the flexibilities of the height adjustable bathroom moving in a hardening perspective. Now, there's no doubt that the longer term solution for this would be better with seal and track hoisting system. Absolutely no doubt. But I just want to highlight something that people often forget with the height adjustable feature is that because you're creating that gap between the bath and the floor, there is the potential like I say, from a risk assessment perspective, I would suggest in the short term, if you're trying to separate DFG applications, or if the person already has a mobile hoist that they're incredibly familiar with and comfortable with, or it's just their choice, that you can't bathe, therefore using the mobile hoist. As you can see, I've managed to get the hoist completely under the bath there. I'm able to, still able to raise the bath to the height that the carer would need it to be. And then I'm able to lower the boom of the hoist to a position where the person bathing is submerged. You do have to do a little bit of adjustment as it goes down. So as the boom is lowering, you need to make some small adjustments, but the boom takes the person right down to the bottom of the bath. So it is possible, I'm not saying it's the best long-term solution, but it's definitely something for you to consider clinically if there's an issue with funding or just a personal preference from the client or from their family. Thank you.